Thank you for joining us tonight. A man was found dead in a car near a school in Columbus this morning. Now police are looking for the shooter and community leaders are looking for change. Our Desmond Matthews joins us live with more details. Desmond. That's right, Winston. 23-year-old Shad Reese of Macon was the young man that was shot and killed in his car in this parking lot around 3 o'clock this morning. I spoke with residents around this neighborhood a little bit earlier, and they said they want to see things change before they get worse. Shortly before 3 a.m. Monday, Columbus police received a call about a black male sitting in a car in the parking lot across from Union Academy. When officers arrived, they found the car's windows had been shot out and 23-year-old Shad Reese was dead, the seventh homicide in Columbus this year. District 41 State Representative Kabir Kareem says some action has been taken to prevent crime, but there needs to clean up those uh, high crime areas uh, that are so prevalent. I commend the mayor and the city council for recently putting up the, uh, the uh, sky cop, the cameras and, and communities, but more is needed. Protecting the youth and elderly is important to Kareem, and he believes a partnership between the city and citizens needs to continue its work. And it seems like right now it's at a standstill. But it's time to get those folks who uh, were putting the Crime Prevention Task Force together and uh, see where we are, let's update it, uh, and, and, and let's do something about it. Columbus Police Chief Fred Shelton says his department continues its push for engaging and protecting the community. Some crimes will be able to pre pre prevent, and then some won't be. Other ones were, you know, with, with domestic type situations. So again, then we can't predict the other ones is we just can increase our patrol and continue to use tools that we've, that we've been using to make our city better. And again, developing that trust and relationship with the citizens. Shelton encourages anyone that may know something to not let fear get in the way of reporting it. We do encourage people to find non-traditional ways. I know people may be leery about making that phone call, but again, use the P3 app. It's completely anonymous. We need the information. Now, if anyone has any information or video that can help lead to an arrest, you're encouraged to call Golden Triangle Crime Stoppers or the police department. Reporting live in Columbus, Desmond Matthews, WCBI News.